welcome. We have a Gigabyte AORS RTX 3080 Extreme Water Force Water Block Edition. In this episode, we will first remove the water block and back plate, then fully tear down the block to reveal and clean the acrylic top and copper base plate. We will repaste and reassemble the card and end with a leak test and a thermal test. This is the Vector Network, and let's begin. The AORS Water Force Water Block has an acrylic top that's mostly covered in plastic with a mirror finish which we will soon remove. Turning it over is the back plate that houses an LED. The back plate is metal, has the brand name and logo, and provides some structure and protection to the back of the PCB. Let's start the teardown by first removing the five screws attaching the PCB to the water block, along with removing the four screws with pretension springs around the GPU processor. Then, lifting up the PCB, there's a leak detection and RGB cable to first remove and then remove another five screws securing the PCB to the back plate. Separating the PCB from the back plate and flipping it over, there's one last RGB cable to unplug. Thermal pads for the VRAM are one and a half millimeters thick and one millimeter thick for the GPU and memory. The Gigabyte AORUS Extreme Water Force RTX 3080 WB 10 Gigabyte Edition has a custom non-reference PCB layout. On the water block, the 3-pin cable is for RGB and the 2-pin cable is for leak detection. The back plate has a 2.5mm thermal pad to even the thickness around the RGB LED. Let's start the water block teardown by getting underneath the plastic mirror, and then we could pry it off. There is also a thin plastic strip on the top and another thicker strip on the bottom that comes off. Next, wipe away the glued residue. Then we have 15 Torx screws to remove from the top of the water block. The water block has a gold colored trim around the cold plate and fittings that house the leak detection circuitry. When wet, the block will flash red and the screen goes black. After that, I've only been able to wake the card after rebooting the system. Lifting the acrylic top, we can access the underneath and the copper cold plate. Once cleaned, we can reassemble the water block. 15 Torx screws go right back in. After that, we will cut new thermal pads to size. The pads for the VRM are 1.5 mm thick, and the rest are all 1 mm thick thermal pads. Next, we apply Noctua NTH2 thermal paste. Insert the leak sensor and RGB cables and place the water block on top of the PCB. Resecure the water block to the PCB with the prior screws. Let's add micro EK Quantum Torque 90 degree fittings to the Gigabyte AORS water block. Click on the link in the top right for a full water cooled PC build of the RTX 3080 in the Meshlicious small form factor case. For coolant, we are using the Aqua Computer Double Protect Ultra in red. We can fill the system from the fill port on the CPU water block where the pump resides. After the leak test is the thermal test. For each testing run, 3D Mark times by extreme stress test was run, and the GPU core and GPU memory temperatures in Celsius were recorded by the Aqua Computer AquaSuite software. Three testing runs were done, and the delta core and memory between under load and at ambient were recorded, and averages obtained across the three runs. These tests were run with the open air test bench and also the ITX Meshlicious full mesh version with all of the sides on. For the test bench, the GPU core temperature rose 24 degrees Celsius from an ambient 25 degrees to 49 degrees Celsius under load. In addition, the memory rose 20 degrees Celsius from an ambient 37 degrees to 57 degrees Celsius under load. For the ITX Meshlicious case, full mesh version, the GPU core temperature rose 31 degrees Celsius from an ambient 23 degrees to 54 degrees Celsius under load. In addition, the memory rose 33 degrees Celsius from an ambient 32 degrees to 65 degrees Celsius under load. Like the video by clicking the like button. If this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. This is the Vector Network. Please click on the bell for a notification when the next episode airs. Click here on the links for more videos. Thank you, and I'll see you at the next episode.